two laptops versus one USB flash drive that contains a pretty nasty malware on it. Will any of them survive? Both laptops are running Windows with Defender, but here is the catch. This malware is custom. It has never been seen outside of my testing environment for obvious reasons. That means that the antivirus cannot just look up its virus definitions and stop it. That would have been way too easy. So why two laptops? Well, one of them is your standard laptop, but the other is equipped with Intel V Pro platform. This is Intel's hardware-based PC platform that enhances software tech, and comprises of several features, but the one I'm interested in is the enhanced security component. I told Intel what I'm going to do and they were happy for me to proceed with my test. They even sponsored this video regardless of the results. So the moment of truth has arrived. Let's start with laptop number one. This is the one without Intel's V Pro running Windows and Defender and it has no internet access. So whatever's gonna happen will happen locally on the computer. Okay, let's do this. USB stick has just gone in and it's run. Okay, a whole bunch of windows have opened up. Try to close them, close, close, close. And oh, look, it's even changed the background and something is running and I cannot escape it. I can't click on it. I can't do anything with it. That's it. My computer is now officially frozen. The hard drive is being encrypted as we speak. Let me try going to task manager and oh, computer just crashed. Laptop number one is pretty much done for. Nothing is working. The screen is frozen. Even a reboot won't fix it. The only way for me to get this working is by physically taking out the hard drive, sticking it into another computer, doing a low level format and starting again. Uh, okay, same flash drive, same custom malware. Now let's attack laptop number two. Again, no internet access, so it's all up to the local software and hardware to deal with this uh, threat. It's now that we find out if Intel is going to regret sponsoring the video or not. Sorry guys, has to be done. Okay, here we go. Now the resolution of the screen is different because it's a smaller laptop, but you can even see here that it's got no internet access. It requires some updates. I haven't even done those. Let's fire up the file explorer, stick in the USB drive, and there is my dodgy file. Let's see what happens when I try to open it. Wow, look at that. Immediately, it's telling me, hey, something's up. Windows Defender has found threats here, no go. Okay, but the file's still there. Let me just try this again, just in case there was a mistake. Okay, definitely, well, I mean, yeah, it just would not let me run this file. And, and now the file's gone. Okay, so Windows Defender found the file, find the threat in that file and now it's gone. This is unbelievable. Let's just double check. Let's just go back into File Explorer and let's go into the USB drive. And yep, absolutely nothing there. The laptop is working perfectly fine as if nothing has happened. Okay, wow. So as you saw, there was a Defender notification and that's it. Everything is working as if it didn't happen. I'm filming this as I'm doing it. You saw with the first laptop, it's completely destroyed. So it's not like I could test this ahead of time and then film it later. You're seeing what I'm seeing. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting that. I figured that the Intel V Pro based laptop would maybe block some of the malicious things that this malware does, but it would be affected by other elements such as disabling the mouse or not being able to click on icons. That clearly didn't happen and the system is working just fine. It certainly didn't encrypt the hard drive, but how? How is that possible? Two identical machines running the same software, one survives whilst the other is basically a headache for my tech people to fix. Well, that has to do with something that we don't talk about enough, the type of protection. When it comes to something like malware, we typically rely on the antivirus to stop attack in its tracks. And in most cases, it does a really good job. When we click on an infected file, the antivirus runs a scan, see if it marries up to the virus definitions that it knows about, and if it does, it stops it. It can also proactively look for dangerous behaviors and stop that. You click on a dodgy link and the system stops you from getting to that website if it's a known phishing site. So our antivirus does work. But since both laptops had identical systems, why did one get infected and the others not? 
An antivirus is essentially software. And just like any other software, it needs to have an operating system to run it. Windows loads, and during that process, the antivirus loads. But here's the thing. What if the malware can get onto the system and is activated before Windows loads? No Windows means no software, means no antivirus. This is where hardware-based protection comes to save the day. Intel's vPro has tech actually baked into the hardware itself. That means that even without Windows, it's still able to actively protect the computer and its data. It has verified boot. This ensures that operating system and drivers have not been tampered with before they are loaded. It has hardware-based encryption to protect the data. It has application protection, which means that if you download an app that looks like Zoom, but it has been tampered with to be malicious, the system can determine that it's not the real Zoom app because it's not in its application whitelist. This will stop that dodgy app from running. It also has AI and machine learning that work together with the local antivirus to detect anomalies. That is what happened in this case. I am not gonna tell you what my malware does, but its first task is to disable various defenders' capabilities so that it can continue to run without being stopped. That is why the first laptop failed. But on the Intel vPro-based laptop, even though it had no previous knowledge about my custom malware or its capabilities, it recognized that something unusual was going on. It was an anomaly. So it worked together with Defender to put an instant stop to it before it could do any damage. A lot of this is due to the fact that there is so much security baked into the hardware that doesn't rely on Windows to work. Now I get why so many businesses are opting for Intel vPro platform. This must cut down on support calls to their tech help desk and obviously is much stronger protection for their users. So if you are looking to update your company's laptops, having Intel vPro is now a must have requirement. Okay, Intel, you won this round, but I'm not done yet. I am working on another test that attacks a different area of the laptop. So get ready for round two. Also, if you have any suggestions of what else I could attack this laptop with, please let me know. Or if you have any questions about Intel vPro, let me know too before you upgrade your computer. And speaking of upgrading your computer, does RAM actually make your computer faster? Check out this video over here. Hit the head down here to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up before you head out. And I'll see you in this video or this video. And Intel, I'll see you in the next round. Let's go.